there are a multitude of avenues to not only finance, but maybe more importantly, when I started in the business, if you wanted someone to see a piece of film, piece of television, whatever video was coming later, mm -hmm. um, you had to beg, borrow, steal, pole vault a fence. It's all now, it's find your audience. It's find your customers. It's find a reason to engage with them. It's build a community. And the future of entertainment to me, which is only you know, the underpinnings of disruption. Disruption will come from many different angles, creative angles, business angles. The most fundamental change is that we're no longer talking about an audience you sell to. You're talking about a community that you engage with. People of not just like interests, it's the ability to have your voice heard, to engage with people who will share your ideas happily, willingly, whatever they are. And then as a creator, you say, I'm creating for that community. And it will look like an audience. If we had demographics, then you have psychographics. Now what you have is a partnership with your audience. What's going to be the revenue in the future? It all depends on what your creative product is. It depends on what medium it's going out into. There's no question that, you know, the, the, the talk of the, you know, the difference in um, the lowering of CPMs on, on YouTube and other, you know, digital platforms, that's a function of excess inventory. That eventually will shrink. And once that inventory shrinks, simply because the user base is going up, um, hopefully CPMs will rise, which will make advertising, even on those platforms, more robust. But for the most part, cable is a hybrid between subscription fees that are charged to the consumer as well as advertising dollars that come into the networks. Um, we will see everything from transactional revenue to advertising revenue to subscription revenue and hybrids of all of them. What's the future of the, this kind of vertical channels and what's the way they are going to interact with this community they're talking about? Well, they're going to interact with traditional channels and you know, I'm partnered with Dr. Oz so we spend, you know, because he is America's doctor, he's actually the world's doctor, we think about how media is to be used to help uh, entertain and educate at the same time people who frankly don't really want to read about it they need to see it and in a way it needs to be interactive whether you've taken your medicine how it's monitoring your life all of that will be crafted into an online offline entertainment offering that will have video as a major component of it and uh, i think it's why the dr oz show works so well because he actually is or, you know authentic in terms of the advice it's actionable and we now have tools to build community and support around healthcare, and we know that that actually is impactful in terms of how you get people to change their lifestyle behavior. You need buddies. Right. And when you think about, uh, I guess after, I'm told after pornography, uh, you know, health issues are the second most searched term on the internet. Think about what that becomes in this media world. but. That will be true for many you know, areas of specific interest. So we had the Food Network. Food Network is great, but now we have as uh, what I think is going to be one of the uh, successful YouTube experiments, Taste Made. So now you've got professional user-generated content, people running around the world, going to every continent, doing what Anthony Bourdain does, but differently. They are not, one is not better than the other, one is not necessarily going to supplant the other. There is a place for each in our viewing world. But frankly, I looked at some of the product on that vertical, which is foodies who want to see a husband and wife team. She's an actress, he's a filmmaker. And they're showing up in places that frankly, uh, a scripted, even a reality show, but a scripted reality show, it's not going to find. There's a sense of exploration that goes on that is very different when you're dealing with the serendipity of individual content coming in agnostic to the amount of time that the show may be in building a, a sense of not I've watched a program I'm done it's I'm in the middle of an adventure oh, and I'm going yeah. around the world with them